What's up my YouTube world? It's Queen Wisdom coming live from my home, my humble abode. Um, I wanted to do a video while everyone I take care of is sleeping right now. It's only 8 o'clock, but my household goes to sleep early. <laughs> yes. But I wanted to do a video because someone inboxed me on Instagram, which y'all can look me up, Thick Vegan Jazz, on Instagram and Snapchat. Thick Vegan Jazz. Snapchat, it might be J A Z Z E Y 8 7, if you can't find a Thick Vegan Jazz. But um, someone had asked me, they asked me a question about weight loss and how they've tried everything and they can't seem to lose the weight they want to lose and um it's really making them depressed and um anxiety and anxious or whatever so i decided to do a video even though i talked to her and um, gave her some tips i decided to do a video because i know there's probably more people that have the same question first off when you're losing weight the first thing you must do, and this is for any weight loss program, any diet, and first you gotta stop saying diet. You gotta um, change your perspective on how you start seeing it. it's a new lifestyle, new eating habits, but cut diet out of there. But the first thing you must do is decide that you want to lose weight. Now, I decide that you want to lose weight for your man or your wife or not decide to lose weight for a reunion or something um, so superficial and um, something that's not going to last. Um, a spouse doesn't last if you're losing weight for that spouse. Um, either that spouse loves you unconditionally or they just don't. Uh, you gain weight, you can gain 400 pounds, they shouldn't. Now, is that a cry out for help? Of course. But, and it's a physical cry out for help. A lot of people don't, a lot of their habits don't show physically unless they're strung out on drugs or an alcoholic or um, pill popper to the extreme. It has to be extreme for people to be like, whoa, what's going on? And sometimes they don't even do that. They just hand the change in your pocket while you're asking for it. But people that has weight loss issues, they usually show it through their body and then they build up this confidence and say, I love myself. When deep down, they really don't because they're eating their emotions and numbing their pain with food. Because there is chemicals in food that cause your brain, the dopamines in your brain, to and then endorphins in your brains to rise and, and spike and go low at certain times when you're eating certain type of chemically induced junk food. So the first thing you must do is decide in your mind that you want to lose weight. I wrote it down so I won't forget anything. Uh, <clears throat> you have to decide in your mind first that you are going to lose weight. You will never get to where you want to be if you don't put it in your mind. You have to put it in your mind. I am doing this for me. I want to be happier. I want to be healthier. I want to be more whole. I am doing this for me. You have to put this in your mind. I'm not doing this so I can run around with the kids because as soon as you lose weight, you ain't doing nothing with your kids. I'm not doing this for my man because as soon as you lose weight, you leaving your man. You have to do this for yourself. Um... If you don't put it in your mind that this is what you want to do, a lot of people, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you don't put this in your mind that this is something that you want to do, um, a lot of people want to lose weight for all the wrong reasons. For example, a wedding, knowing damn well you eating like a hog at the wedding and after, causing you to gain all that you lost plus 15 more pounds. A birthday coming up, you're going to gain 5 to 10 pounds by your birthday because your mind is so stuck on trying to lose weight for this birthday that you can't enjoy your birthday. And now you've gained weight because of your anxiety and your anxiousness. Um, a special event, a man, a job um, that has weight requirements, proving you can get your um, post-baby body back, any and everything except losing weight for you. You don't even know why you want to lose weight. I mean, 
just to look good that's you look good now what is the deep down reason why you want to lose weight is i want to stop the habit of eating when i'm feeling emotional i want to stop the habit of eating when i'm feeling happy or any type of emotion i want to stop the habit of eating and running to a crutch instead of handling my issues and my problems head on um, when i was addicted to sugar i could eat a donut and felt like i I was in heaven. It was just like, oh, I'll be in my car. <laughs> oh, racing to QT for that donut. Um, everyone has to start somewhere. You have to focus and see yourself where you want to be. Put it in your mind, but in order for it to stick and last, you have to heal. You have to find the reason why you're overindulging in food and why you crave and desire these things you have to figure out maybe when you was a kid food helped you and it made you feel better and that was the only friend you had so food is now your friend now and it's tearing your body up because you're praising food and you're not praising yourself it's okay to have a cookie it's not okay to have the whole pack of cookies it's okay to have things you just can't overindulge and that's where the dieting comes in because it's like teaching yourself how to eat right but you're not because it's only for a temporary diets don't last forever it's only for a temporary gain so it doesn't last you have to get back to the root of why why am i doing this and if you don't want to get to the root and you just want to go straight forward that's fine also but you have to put it in your mind that this is for me. I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for anyone else. Because the moment you're doing it for your husband or your wife, they, oh, I like the, I like you the way you are. I don't want you to lose no weight. I love your body. But you're complaining about your back and your, your body is not feeling how you want it to feel. But people will convince you to keep weight on you because it's comfortable for them. Don't lose weight and feel good about yourself because you might find a different spouse. Don't lose weight and feel good about yourself because you might find another group of friends to be around. You're not going to be the fat, insecure person no more. You know, so a lot of people will voice their personal opinions, meaning you're changing them personally. So don't change because you're going to change me and how I feel about you. So please don't change. Please stay the same. And that's when you have to do this for you. You don't even have to tell nobody you're starting a lifestyle change. Just do it. You ain't got to tell nobody nothing. This is for you. <clears throat> oh, did I skip something? Oh, yeah. Heal and love yourself. You have to remind yourself that you're worthy to be where you want. You are worthy, worthy to have the body you want. You have to forgive yourself for overindulging it happens forgive yourself forgive yourself and love yourself once you start that healing process and realize everything takes time patience is not going to happen overnight Whoa, I didn't lose all the weight I wanted to lose it's not even about losing weight it's about being comfortable in the body that you were born to have it's nothing wrong with getting in shape and getting your body right but shaping your body for you not so you can look like Meg Thee Stallion or Beyonce or uh, Tay Diggs or Morris Chestnut. It's not to look like anybody. It's for you. Everybody is not born to look alike. Not even twins. Twins have different characteristics of each other that the other twin don't have. No one is born alike. You have to allow yourself time to heal your brain because this is all conditioned. This is something, this is a program. So in order to get the body you want, you have to reprogram your mind. We are not our bodies. We are not our minds. Shout out to my guru. We are not. So you have to reprogram from the conditions learned from childhood or whenever. Once this process is established, now the visual visualization process starts. You have to see yourself at the body you want to be no matter the weight. If that's the body you want, See your body changing. Don't, I got Beyonce in my head and I want a body like Beyonce. It's Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. No. See you and see what shape you want 
I want to round her behind. I want to shape some of these dimples. Your mind is going to get that conditioning. It's programming. It's okay. Do, 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 do. This is what we must do. This is what we must eat. And we're going to go buy it. You can't even eat certain foods. I can't eat until almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I've been fasting for three years. I cannot eat before four o'clock. If I do, my stomach opens up and now I'm just this human garbage can. I'm eating all day. If I eat around 12, 1 o'clock, I'm eating all day. I'm not starving. Oh, you starving yourself to 4 o'clock? No, I don't. I'm not hungry. I'm not anything. My body is detoxing and I'm allowing that process to happen. That's what that's called. It's called being in control of yourself. You have to see yourself at the body you want to be no matter the weight. Sometimes our perfect body don't come at an ideal weight. You know, people are like, how much weight you lost? Do it matter? What it look like I lost? Oh, it look like you weigh 150 something. Okay, that's how much I lost, girl. <laughs> Whatever. It might not be that ideal weight on the scale, but you're feeling more comfortable in your body and you're more confident and more reassured. Start picturing yourself going out with friends with the body you desire. Start seeing yourself at the beach with your swimsuit on. Start seeing yourself in your car with your body that you desire. Not so you can pull a millionaire or uh, attract Tom, Dick, and Harry or anybody that doesn't matter. It's for you to feel good. Losing weight and getting back whole and connecting back to your God is about you. It's about finding yourself. you chop off them layers you chop them off it comes off see i had the shape i i visualized the waist i wanted i visualized it didn't look like this if y'all look at my first video y'all would not see that my first video i was flat as a board <laughs> my go to my first video my first youtube video when i lost 100 and 20 pounds i didn't have no shape flat flat my stomach was flat but that was flat too everything was flat now everything is shaped through my hips you can see so in order to get the body you want you have to first decide that you're losing weight for you no one else this is not nobody else's journey this is your journey so live it for you don't even tell nobody don't tell no friends hey girl you want to start um weight loss journey you want to start being my gym partner don't tell nobody yeah i want to be your gym partner as soon as you get to the gym they talking your ears off i'm tired okay we need to go get some starbucks leave them alone let them be they bodies probably snap back this is for you do this for you